In this video, I'm going to show you how to find a photo that you've removed from your Lightroom library, but haven't actually deleted from your hard drive. So if you're anything like me and you've gone to delete a photo, like let's say this photo here, hit delete and you just mindlessly hit enter key. What will happen is the, um, the default option is to remove the photo from the library, not to actually delete it from your hard drive, which is this. And so if you just, you know, hit enter here, now it's gone from your library, but again, it's taking up valuable space on your hard drive. Now one photo might not be much, but if you eventually do this over the course of a long period of time and have tons of photos just sitting on your hard drive that you don't even know are there, probably, <laughs> because you've done it so many times, it, it can eat up a lot of space. So I want to show you how to find them easily without having to go through folders and folders of things and trying to find the one photo that isn't in your library. So for this, we're going to go to the import screen. And from here, we're going to go and select the whatever folder your Lightroom catalog is. Mine just so happens to be called Lightroom. And I'm going to click on that. Um, whatever yours is, it might be called photos, it might be called whatever. Find, <laughs> find the, the, the folder that contains your entire Lightroom catalog. Also make sure you hit include subfolders so it'll search for every photo inside of all the photos, excuse me, all the folders inside of your Lightroom catalog. Now this is done loading, you'll see here that there's a whole bunch of grayed out photos. And um, the reason for that is if you hover over the photo, it says this photo has already been imported. That's because it has. This is your Lightroom catalog, so you should have a whole bunch of grayed out photos. But instead of having to search through this entire list to find the ones that aren't grayed out, meaning they aren't already in your Lightroom library, because if you've got tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of photos, that could be a huge pain. What we're going to do is hit new photos. The new photos will only show you the photos that aren't currently in your Lightroom catalog, but are still in your Lightroom folder on your hard drive. These are where all of the photos lie that um, you've hit removed on, but haven't actually deleted. And you can see here, there's actually more photos that I didn't even know were not actually deleted, but just removed from the library. And so, you know, from here we could, you know, of course, re-import them if you want, but we wanted to delete them, right? So let's right click on this and hit show in Finder. And in Windows, I think that should be show in Explorer, whatever the Windows term is. I'm not familiar with it, I'm sorry. But it will find the photo on your hard drive, so you don't even have to look for it, and I'll highlight it for you. So you can just go ahead and hit the, well, on here I'm moving it to the trash, whatever the delete key is in um, Windows, so you can easily delete whatever it was that you removed but didn't delete from your hard drive in the first place. And you can do this with every single one of your photos. And again, this shows you all the photos that you had removed but didn't delete, and you'd be surprised that there might be a whole bunch that you just kind of accidentally did, weren't paying attention, and thought you did delete, but didn't. You might rediscover some old photos that are long lost. And uh, <laughs> But anyway, I just wanted to give you this little quick tip to show you an easy way to find all of the things that are kind of hidden on your hard drive that you can easily delete. So um, yeah, I hope you liked the video. And if you did, go ahead and hit the like button. It shows me that you like the video and that you want to see more of them. And if you do want to see more, go ahead and hit subscribe and you'll see more videos like this and tutorials on photography and Photoshop and Lightroom and, and you know reviews and staying things on um, how to stay creative and a bunch of other stuff like that. And uh, you know, I'm on all the social media places, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and all that. So anyway, until next time, See you in the next video. Catch you later.